Hey gang, sorry for this shaky camera work. Uh, I'm using my 99 cent selfie stick on my phone, but I'm working on something and I wanted to share something with you while I'm thinking about it and actually working on it. I'm gonna try and do that more often for you. But I'm here working on a bass track and I was just tracking over in the Faroe Islands. And if you don't know where that is, like a lot of people, it's an amazing, beautiful set of islands halfway between Iceland and Scotland gorgeous place which is also blessed with stupidly good musicians so uh, I went over there with part of Kathleen Blackwell's Project Electrico to work with some of those awesome awesome musicians and I worked with this incredible fretless bass player and uh, but we just recorded with an Apogee duet in the living room of the guest house so we didn't have cool compressors and bass amps or anything just plugged straight in and got a really really good even clean tone but the tune needs a little bit more mojo. So I'm back here at my studio in Los Angeles and actually running it through this, my retro double wide, which is a really, really awesome, awesome compressor for adding bigness and a little character and mojo to it. So it is just what the doctor ordered, except for a couple spots. So here, let me show you something. So sorry, this isn't gonna sound all that great on my phone but I wanted to share the idea with you and I don't have time to edit up a super pro looking video. So here we go. You can actually see here the bass track and then boom, we have that big loud spot. So that's given me exactly what I want on these softer spots, but then it's sort of adding a little too much grit and dirt on this really big one. And so I found myself kind of backing off on the compression. Then I thought, wait, I'm being an idiot. I'm being like I was 20 years ago before I understood compression. And that's a mistake a lot of people make because I actually love the compression, what it's doing here. It just isn't working here. So the simple thing to do is go in and I'm in Pro Tools 10, uh, select that. And then I'm just gonna pull that down with clip gain. So it's kind of more consistent with these parts. So I'm doing this on a bass, but I do this all the time on vocals and virtually anything else. Because to me, compressors are envelope manipulators, tone mojo boxes, much more than adjust, you know, adjusting difference between loud and quiet stuff. I can do that with clip gain. So then when we go and hit this now, We go so that actually is much cleaner and it's much more consistent i actually did hear a tiny little pop there when it went back so what i'll do later i'll fine tune that and i'll actually go this will be very blunt and just put a little crossfade on there boom perfect so i got exactly the tone i want consistently and it let me control the amount of character and mojo i added to that bass part so that is it for now. I need to actually get back to working on Kathleen's record because she's arriving on Tuesday and we're going to be cutting vocals against this stuff. Have fun and stay focused on the music. Oh, I'm dizzy.